What's up, guys? It is I, the mighty Green Chili! And yes, this is my character. And I tell you, I look mighty fine sexy with my one and only Thunderstick. Look at that. Better than Thunderstrike. Admit it. Admit it! Anyways, today, we are here to make this mini guide to show you guys how to find bonus rolls for Miss Pandaria and War Shinar Raids. Sometimes it's hard to, to get loot when we want it. I mean, literally. Do you know how many times I have to go through Panda Land, go to Mr. Rodan on Heroic 25 Man killing all these damn bosses, and yet Mr. Rodan never drops my flipping belt? The nerve, man. It looks good on me. The heck. I've been farming this for fucking six months. Or longer than that. And that's saying a lot. But anywho, son you know what did I already say that? Never mind. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much dumb RNG luck, so F us, right? Right? Yep, indeed. S and also in this mini guide I also want to show you guys how to, you know, find LFR NPCs NPCs for Dragon Soul, Miss Pedoria raids, and even WAD raids. Because some of the LFR raid tier items do look pretty good on a certain extent. I mean, heck, if you look at, like, you know, like, you know, Legion, it does have some good LFR color. I mean, look at this one. It looks good. Well, obviously, that's a gladiator. No one cares about that. But there definitely is some good LFR ones, which, if you look close enough, it doesn't show on, the, on like, for, for WAD, but, but for Pandaria, there is some you can actually see for yourself. Look at this one. This one looks pretty good. This one, maybe if you like red, and then that's fine. Of course, 100 not a good example, but it gives you an idea that there are some definitely LFR. I'll show you pictures later on, but anywho. So, time to go find these raids. And it's just going to be a small little guide, because after all, it is a mini guide, so what do you expect? So, let's find these currencies, no matter if it, no matter how annoying they can, you can get them, because some of them don't even cost gold. Oh no, <laughs> exactly. Oh no, right? Exactly, it's tough. It is hard, but as hard as Siege of Orgrimmar. But, anyways, let's get started, shall we? Now you might be wondering, why the heck are we st are over here, at the, the Horde Inn? Well, because in this inn is the best way you get portals, in my opinion, of course. So, of course, you can do this in the Lions, the little area, but I never really hang out there, so... Yep, time to go there, and this is where you have to go to, is just make sure you head all the way over here. Obviously to your little portal part, but if you're in the Lions, obviously you go to the, the other side over here. Definitely annoying, but that's just how it is, that's just how it works. And then just head all the way into Dalaran. And this is where we actually go to here. Yep, we are in Dalaran, my friends. Perfect place. And all you have to do is head upstairs, head to the left side, and you will find the Caverns of Time. Yeah, it's going to take a while to load. Yeah. Well, time to edit it out. Yeah, no, never mind. It's, it's fast. We're good. All right. Now... All you gotta do is just head inside the Caverns of Time, which we're located right outside here in the Tanaris area. I mean, look at all these bronze dragon flights. These ain't great. Luckily, unlike most caves, you can actually fly around inside, which is good. Now, all you have to do is just go all the way inside and head, you know, just keep going in. Yeah, it takes a while to go and, you know, keep going all the way in, but let's be honest, any travel is going to be a pain in the ass, but that's just the whole point of immersion, it's just to feel like it's a big world. Right? Correct. That's the whole point. And yeah, once you get all the way inside the zone, look on your map, which we'll get to there in a little, in a little minute. I mean, let's appreciate the, the cool little purpleness. Looks nice. And oh no, we're going inside! Cool. Ah, here we are. This little section of the area is where you need to go to. And then just head all the way over here to the Dragon's Soul. 
but unlike most most raids, we don't actually have to go all the way inside. Instead, we go in the front. Why? Because on the front part of it, you'll find this NPC. This little dragon who dressed up as a high elf is actually the LFR finder for the two two instances of the wings. Now, if you look at the Catalyst dungeon, or let's say raid, you're wondering how which bosses are in the wings. Well, the first wing will actually show Murchok, War Zonzak, Yorjashi, and you know what I mean? Hagera, and that's it. And then the second wing will show you Atrexian, Warmaster Blackhorn, Spine of Deathwing, and Madness of Deathwing. So that's basically the raids in a nutshell. So yeah, this is where you find the LFR version for this raid. Now, onwards to Pandaria, where we find more of the NPCs. Let's get started, shall we? Ah, here you are, in Pandaria. The place that everyone hates because they're all a bunch of edge lords, like me. Although I'm more mature than them, that's for certain. Well, anywho, this is where we're back to Pandaria, and we all have to do is just go all the way over here to this little zone here. And yeah, if you're alliance, you have to go from here to over here, which is not that big a deal. Of course, you have to have flying to even reach up here. Once you get inside, and this is where you find the LFR version for for all the Miss Pandaria raids. And different wings go from Mogashan Vaults all the way to like the right of Mogashan Vaults, Vault of Mysteries, which are both the the Vault thing. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, for I call it, it's like the Mogashan Vaults. Yeah, the Heart of Fear is the the Nightmare of Sexier and Terror Spring. I don't know. Yeah, these like the Approach Nightmare of Sexier. Endless Spring is the very small raid where you actually fight off against four bosses one of them being a three boss and and if you if you want to do progression for twinking I do recommend kill these four bosses first and then kill this one last and you get the elite loot yep heroic elite how cool is that exactly but I like this one better it looks looks badass let's be honest and you also have the last of us and Delari, all the way to the to the Lace Shane's Pentacle Storm, and that's Throw Thunder for LFR. And then the rest is the Fell of Eternal Sorrows that's around us, all the way to Downfall of Garrosh Hellscream is Siege Orgamar LFR wings. So yeah, yet that's basically all the the wings, and yep, there are delicious wings there. So yeah, this is where you get the LFR NPC at, and his name is Lord Walker Han because Han Down is the best name. So, anywho, you might be wondering where is where is the War Janars, you know, Lafar NPC? Because what if there's some good items that I can get from there? I mean, after all, there's some weapons that you can get from there is actually good. It's just a matter of which one you're looking for. From what I could tell last time, it's like it's based on you know gear that's. Let me see, let me see if I find one of the, a good example that's from LFR. Hmm. Ah, there's one. I mean, this guy looks pretty good. Yeah, that's like, this is LFR good stuff here. And also, if you look on your dungeon journal, or I should say your travel mod journal, you actually find the LFR armor set right here. Of course, you're a female, it shows, I guess, a little bit of cleave if you're in that into the thing, but if you don't care about that, it's like, whatever. Anyways, on to the next part, to Wad, everyone's favorite expansion. And here we are, in my, my garrison on my warrior character. And you might be wondering, like, Green Chili, why are we in the garrison? Well, my friend, this is where you actually get your other token. And this requires you to have Barak's level 3, if I recall. So if I'm wrong, like, whatever, not Barak's, I'm Warmill. Or if you, for Dwarven, Dwarven Bungers for the whole, not, I meant Dwarven Bungers for the Alliance. My bad. And all you have to do is talk to his NBC and just, you know, get your seal for the week. And once you get your seal, you get your f individual fade. Which will give you, like, Hellfire Citadel and Draenor Mythic Dungeons. Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, anyways, so yeah, if you're doing raids on Hellfire Citadel and want to get some bonus raid loot, 
then this is the the place where you get your bonus seals at least from what I can recall and yeah there's some good armor sets you can get from Hellfire Citadel like good for example is hang on like this set right here it gets it looks really cool and it just gets more corrupted as you get to higher difficulty which is awesome but the regular version does look really cool and if you're looking forward to get like an armor set from here and and here's like the you know just the place where you get your seals and why am I saying this early I have no clue that's actually actually my script said that I had to like, you know show you in a later video but whatever this is where you get your Hellfire Citadel seals but before we even get to more seals let's talk to this guy which he's actually the LFR version guy and yes if you're Alliance you know these guys you helped out in Shadow of Moon Valley it's really weird why Kazul is just you know like there as a horde well, it doesn't matter because he actually has all the little areas you need to go. Let's see, High Mall section is right here. Black Rock Foundry is like down all the way over here. And then the rest is all, you know, like Hellfire Citadel. And Hellfire Citadel, you can get this guy as a follower. And for those people who don't get it, which I've seen a lot of people do. Oops, wrong fucking thing. Hang on. Let me go over here. Heroic Leap. And go to the followers, because there's one follower I'm trying to get, but it people keep killing him for no reason. And that is... Do, 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 do. There. Eknar Stillbringer, who also was one of the boss. He kind of like the helper to the boss, which everyone and their mom keeps killing for no reason. Poor guy, he just never gets retired. It's sad. Yeah, because it... Because he is, he is the NPC which you can find on the list. Very tragic indeed. We all remember in his honor for being a good orc. So anywho. Now we don't get to the tokens. You already know where the Citadel tokens at. But since I'm already here. Let's get on to where the. Where Black Rock Foundry and High Malt tokens are at. Which luckily. It costs only gold. Who knew right? Exactly. And over here is where you actually find an NPC name, Twist Fate Talkiel. And this is where you get your little bit of, you know, your Seal of Fate. Of course, you get the Seal of Fate by just purchasing from him for 100 gold. Which is not half bad at all. Yeah, I'm going to get mines for my upcoming run, so good look on me. Anywho, this is where you actually get the, the Seal of Fate. Of course, if you're in the Alliance, then... You just go to Storm Shield, and he's located right. No, not here. He's located like right here, and he's on the far right of this little or Arakoa camp. So just talk to him and just purchase your Seal of Fate. So yeah, this is where you get your Seal of Fate in this little area. Now, on to Pandaria. All right, here we are at the Timeless Isles, and as this is where we actually go and talk to this particular NPC. Which is right here. She. Shit. Oh, is that not it? Ah, fuck. Wrong one. See, he. Yeah, this is the guy. Is it? No? What the heck? Am I even looking at it right? Am I looking at it right? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Anyways, this is where you get the Mogu Rune of Fate. Now, this is actually the bonus roll for the, the Throne of Thunder. But also, you can get it for the. The two world bosses, Nalak and Adusta, which is, yeah, I said Adusta, whatever cares. Which are two world bosses often hunt down to this day, very day, which is this boss, which drops the, the Cobble Primolia Direhorn, Nalak, which drops the Thundering Cobble Cloud Serpent, and that's where you basically get the rest of the bonus rolls on there. Of course, Throne Thunder is hunt down. For the sexy belt, but also is dropped from mounts as well. And the mounts that did drop from there is the Dire Horn mount, but also Baby Battle Pet. Cheek Hunt with a little pet and a mount. And that's basically where you get the bonus roll from that. And it costs timeless currency, which all you do is just kill a bunch of like random stuff and collect treasures around here. 
For example, this bird right here. See? Boom. Look at C. Boom. C. Boom. Boom. Massacre everything. Like, look. Baby cow. Who gives a fuck? Kill him. And then, boom. Yeah, free coins. Of course, you can just get, like, you know, a little map. Which could be near... You'll find a little treasure chest here, which is, like, has little... It's nearby, like, some giant snakes, some, some you know, little puzzles, like, you know, going on top of ropes to get the treasure chest. Again, it's kind of a little grind, but it's not that bad. But while we're here, I also have another thing I want to show you guys real fast. Ow. Damn it, tree. Now, over here is a special little place where you f see a bunch of frogs. What do you do with these frogs? Oh, simple. Murder every single frog you see in this damn zone. Because... Over here is where you get a special currency known as Lesser Charm of Goods. Or Fortune, I meant. It doesn't matter. Same thing. Same thing. Kill all of them. Murder families for generations. Because this is where you get Fortune. This Fortune is a special currency. And you might be wondering, Green Chili, how are these currencies so special? Well... Well, my friend, since you haven't played the game that much, or never heard of it, well, let me just pick up these items and... Whoosh, I'll show you how to get to these, you know, what to use these items. Let's go over there, shall we? And yes, it's a long travel, but I don't care. This video is worth it! Because we killed so many frogs. Matter of fact, I'm going to kill more of them because I enjoy this damn part. Mm-mm. Delicious. Delicious. DELICIOUS! I love me some cook frogs. Never forget the massacre. I love it. Because it's awesome. And here we are! Finally at the damn Eternal Blossoms. And yes, my character's angry because he has a dragon. And don't be jelly, this dragon is the best mount. Along with the mage disc, which everyone seemed to hate. I don't know why, because F you all. Anyways, onward inside, behind this damn corner, is where you find this damn NPC who sells, you know, sells this little token. But of course, he's a, he pretends to be a quest giver. And when you talk to him, he'll give you three of these little forged things, if you can give him something returned, which is these little lesser tokens. Like I said, you do need these from the frogs earlier in the video, so you get three of those little things. And that's where you get your bonus rolls from that area. Now, you might be wondering, how come I didn't, you know, put a bon- You know, where's the bonus roll for the Miss Pandoria launch range? Because I want to farm the Celestial Mount, bro! Well, well, my friend, that's simple. Well, like I said, you need the currency from the frogs, right? Well, here we are in Town Long Steppids, away from any of the frogs found over here. And away from the other pandas. Well, technically we still have pandas around, but... Anywho's, I'll talk to this fat-ass defender, and he actually sells you more of these little elder charm of good fortune. See? This is where you get more of the currency. So if you're looking forward to do some this Pandaria world bosses like Shav Anger... Yes. Mr. Shav Anger, Solace Warband, and that's about it. Has a, you know... Chance to drop loot more if you have this bonus token. So yeah, if you wanted to get the, the mounts from these two bosses, and even just from other bosses from the old raids, like right here, then this is the place where you get your bonus rolls at. So yeah, that's not my inventory. Fuck. Yeah, this is the place. The one and only... Oh, there it is. Elder Charm of Good Fortune, which costs a good amount of Lesser Charm of Good Fortune. So yeah, make sure you kill some frogs, and that's about it really about this video. I show you all the LFR NPCs, and I show you all the good old fortunes, the seals, the one and only tokens. And yes, you might be wondering, Wait, Chelly, how come you don't keep buying your abilities? Because I can't, because I don't feel like it. I understand. Good. Now, thank you guys for watching this video. Had a wonderful day. Until next time, guys. Peace. Now, end with a roar. Roar! Now I feel like a warrior.